Did you know it's almost baseball time? That's right, March 28th, opening day, Seattle Mariners, time to play ball. And on that note, just wait, we have a special guest for you that has to do with baseball, so just stay tuned. I also wanna give a quick shout out to Rita, the Critter Sitter, and also Suzanne, head of school for Hillside Academy. They both won $10 gift cards to Rustic Cabin Coffee right here on Main Street, AKA The Cabin. Nate and Maggie are the owners, they're absolutely incredible, and their space is so incredible that I filmed my first ever podcast there with Duval Zone, Brandon Pedersen, he is the president of the Duval Chamber of Commerce, and Morgan Henley from Morgan Henley presents just stay tuned for that and you are never gonna believe what we're giving away this month buddy buck here back with another episode of duval tv all right couple of quick updates valley 104.9 you can hear the snow valley real estate update that is going to be every monday at 8 20 a.m and 5 20 p.m and also again on saturday at 8 20 a.m so check it out valley 104.9.org also a friend of the show morgan henley he has a show on friday night from 7 to 9 p.m on valley 104.9 called the jammies so if you love music and just love to jam out or chill out you can go listen to the jammies as well next update light up duval you know i love it i talk about it all the time the light up duval fundraiser will be a staple to the show because if you've ever driven down main street and seen the lights up and down main street it is absolutely gorgeous we literally just took them down so i want to give a special shout out you can see a lot of the volunteers that are pictured here but man we had a fun time Special thanks to Matt Higgins from Ace Hardware, who just really leads the charge with Jody and Mike Carmona from Eastside Property Solutions. So thank you to them. Also, you can see some of the other volunteers met some really, really incredible people. You know, Karen and Michelle from the Chamber of Commerce as well. They're local here and just do an amazing job for this community and this city. So thanks for everyone that's participating in Light Up Duval Fundraiser. We are at $1,100 raised. All the links that I'll be talking about right now in the show are gonna be linked below. This is gonna be going on year after year, month after month, as long as we can keep contributing together because I promise you, so many people in this community don't know that they can actually participate and you know give five bucks here or there this is a super important fundraiser because it just makes our city look really cool it's part of why duval to me is just so beautiful and small and quaint and just uh very community centric so love the light of duval fundraiser another quick little update i want to give a shout out to corey and Kristen heston and the heston family so just caught up with corey here just a couple of days ago and i know heston's door service is just cranking right now so a lot of cool things happening with heston door service and as a reminder you can find all of the most important information for duval specifically on the website that i built for us the duvallife.com you can see all the different links you can subscribe to the show obviously you've probably already done that but you can also sign up for different things anything fresh i'm going to put under the latest buzz something new something that's popping off and then businesses you know schools school information i put a little wrinkle on it this month i'm just kind of dinking around playing with this uh, new add-on from linktree is you can add a store so for some of you you might like some of these products i just put a few on and i'll kind of like be more mindful of what i put up here but for now i just put some home products up here these are all things that i've purchased so you know we get a new flag every couple years a uh, custom house number on etsy that is a really cool sign you can order um, you know to help those delivery drivers find your place if you like smart lighting or you're like oh my gosh i've always wanted smart lighting guess who does that i do have i ever done it for money no i haven't but we have a ton of these in our home and love it so if you want it some smart light tips uh, you can go ahead and drop a comment below as well or send me a dm and i'll just give you a couple of, like tips or kind of get you started i just love to do it i've given it for gifts for a couple of clients and kind of got their smart home lighting set up as well so you can see if you're an apple person some of my favorite stuff and then people are creating content out there what tech should i buy which mic should i buy which lights should i buy so again you can always message me for any of this and if i don't know the answer i'll just refer you to the person or the expert that i know that does so all right guys now let's jump into the events and the Grange, one of our favorites. Love the Grange. Sarah and Luke, they are the owners of the Grange. They're fantastic people, amazing community members. Just want to give a quick shout out to Becky, who's running their social channels. So just got to meet her the other day. So they have a new thing kind of cooking over there and it is so cool. It is called Community Tuesdays. So if you just go to thegrangeduval.com, you can simply click on public events and go check all these out. But every Tuesday basically is something happening 
at the Grange. So I'm just gonna scroll down to April 2nd. So that's gonna be open mic night. So dust off your instrument of choice, everybody. Here we go. Tune up the vocal cords. I can't sing. I can't. I can do other things. I can't sing well. Okay, let's just put it this way. You don't want me singing at the Grange, but I will go root you on and cheer you on. Absolutely. April 9th, got another Community Tuesday. The 16th, the 23rd. On and on it goes. Community Tuesdays at the Grange. Go check it out. March 15th, bingo. Guess what day it is when I'm filming this? March 14th. We're playing bingo tomorrow night. Let's go. John Perrazzo, Paulette Perrazzo, AKA John and Pep. You saw them, they won the Super Bowl tickets with Delta last month. We did a, a special video for them. So they're across the street neighbors. Love those guys. We're playing bingo, man. So the next time uh, that we record this show, we'll have played bingo. And also, if you wanna get in on the next round of action, it does sell out quick. So thank you, Kira Avery with the Snow Valley Community Center because there is another chance for you to play bingo on April 19th. All right, next up, March 19th, springtime. Oh, baby. It is spring. You can already tell the grass is starting to grow. Time to dust off the lawnmowers and edge and do all the pressure washing. It is that time. It's about to be 70 degrees this weekend up in here. And I was just wearing a beanie and a bomber jacket walking my dogs the other day. All right, next up, this is a biggie, March 20th. It is my wife Eve and I's 14th wedding anniversary. And she just loves, loves, loves when I do this publicly. So I love you, babe. Happy anniversary. And uh, on to the next one. Haven't heard from this guy in a little while. It's the little blood sucking vampire right here. And it is time to give blood. It is always time to give blood though, guys. Especially if you don't know what blood type you are, go check it out because there are some blood types that are in more need than others. But there is a mobile drive. You can take a look here, it's March 21st. There are some spots still available. It's just gonna be at the Safeway Duval parking lot. So it's again, take, you know, 30 minutes, call it an hour start to finish when you're all done. It is such a great cause. Next up, March 30th. Drum roll. Drum roll. Bam, it is the March of the Vegetables. Let's go. You saw Duval's Lantern Festival last month. Thank you to Sarah and Landon for running that. Now it is time to do the big show. That was the prelude, March of the Vegetables. So yep, you can get involved. You can get your costume. I've got two vegetable costumes right in my desk below me. You're gonna have to show up on March 30th to go see Buddy Buck in his vegetable costume. But if you go on their website and really drill down on what this is, it is such a perfect event for our area, for Duval, for the Snow Valley. It's really to celebrate and honor the work the local farmers do. So come support March of the Vegetables. It's gonna be awesome. All right, next up, Jim Barnhart with Oxbow Farms, uh, one of our chamber members, one of my buddies. So they have some incredible camps. So if you just kind of scroll down here, you can see there's a couple different camps. So the spring camp is ages 11 to 15, and the summer camp is seven to 11. So you just simply click on here to learn more. It'll show you the dates. So April 8th to the 12th for the spring camp. And then if you go back and just click on the summer camp, you're gonna find out that there's a couple different opportunities for the summer camp. So what do you do? You click on register now. It'll pop up some summer camp details, some dates, all the good stuff. So thank you so much, Jim, for being a great part of the community and putting on a couple awesome camps this year. Next up at the Snow Valley Senior Center, it is the Spring Into Gardening event. That's right. If you love flowers, you love plants, it is time to spring into the gardening event at Snow Valley Senior Center. It's Spring Into Gardening with a trip to the Plant and Garden Sale on Friday, May 3rd. Saturday, May 4th, Sunday from 9 to 3 p.m. That is the address, all the details are there. You can register, you can purchase your baskets, but also pay attention because on May 2nd, the day before it kind of kicks off, it is the first picks party. So definitely want to check that out. Early birds, you can purchase your tickets right here. Click on this link and it's going to jump in here. 25 bucks for a single or 40 bucks for a couple. So again, go get your flowers, go support local. Kira Avery, you guys are amazing promoting events, putting on events for our community. And again, it says senior center, but you hear me talk about this. It is really a community center, AKA 
us going to play bingo. Let's go. Next up, this is gonna be a save the date. We'll talk more details later. This is May 31st. This is the Ref Run, the Riverview Education Foundation Run. This is a 5K. It is an awesome community event as well. Can you notice the theme here? Community, people, culture, coming together, loving each other. The run registration is open right now. You can simply click on this link and look at this, band together, locking arms, go for a run. This dude's struggling a little bit. 40 bucks, get registered early. All the website details are here as well. So thank you, Amy Jacobson um, and Shannon for putting this event on and inviting even I to be a part of it. So uh, we're fortunate to have the opportunity to be the title sponsors this year. So we're gonna do some fun stuff. We're gonna shake it up a little bit. So stay tuned for more deets on the ref run. All right, and another major save the date, Mr. Morgan Henley is running the show this year, ladies and gentlemen. So if you know Duval, you probably know Morgan Henley with Morgan Henley Presents. Well, now Morgan Henley is presenting Duval Days. So I know him and Travis are partnered up, Travis Weatherby from Last Light Photography. So thanks a lot, Travis, for all the work you're doing behind the scenes with Morgan to really just put on this. I mean, Duval Days is awesome anyways. June 1st, you can see the countdown right now is ticking away. So come, it's free participate there's going to be booth vendors there's going to be sponsor opportunities for a very small amount of days left so if you want to participate and be a sponsor get with morgan all the details are going to be in the description below this sponsor is super cool this guy look forget it just check this out time out guys all right hold on i gotta introduce you to this guy this is bill grassy Hey, Bill. Hey, how are you? He is the owner of William Grassy Wine Estates in Duval, Washington, and also Snoqualmie. And because you are a faithful watcher of the show, Duval TV, there's a special giveaway. You're going to give some stuff away, yes? Absolutely. Awesome. Yep. So, Bill, what are you going to do? Will you come and meet the table of the, the winning group? I will absolutely sit with you and drink wine with you. Oh, oh, no, okay, this is extra. I'll, I'll let you taste wine and I'll drink wine Taste with you. wine and he'll drink wine with you, check. So he'll pour your first glass as well. And what else can we give these well, fine winners? Let's give them a discount. Discount? How about 20% off anything you purchase? What if they want to buy wine to go? Does that count? Absolutely. We can yeah. put it all on the big tab. I'll put it on all on the big tab, yeah. Okay, so we have one winner, but how many people can the one winner bring? Let's say, uh, let's say four. Four total or yeah. one plus four? Four, four, four plus four. me. Four plus <laughs> Four plus Bill, I'm, I'm, right. I'm not gonna miss the opportunity to drink wine. <laughs> All right, so you got it here. You're gonna get to meet the owner. You're gonna get a glass poured from the owner, Bill, and he's gonna sit down and hang out and have a glass with you guys. You can order a case to go. I highly recommend it. We're actually doing this, Bill. Let's tink and cheers this a little bit. I cheers. See. Here we go. All right, I'll tell you how to win in two seconds. Mm. I, it's not Rainier beer. It is way better. So how are you gonna win? Drop the word wine in the comments. We are gonna put everyone that drops the word wine in the comments into a drawing, and we will announce it here in the next week. All right, so thanks for sponsoring this video, Bill. Appreciate it. Duval yep. TV loves you. Great. And we're Can't definitely wait to see excited to be partnered, man. Let's go. Okay. All right, good luck, everybody. Thanks a lot, Bill. That was an awesome experience at your wine estate uh, just a couple of days ago now. Uh, but yeah, guys, go check out Bill's website. So William Grassy Wine Estates, they have a place in Snoqualmie and Duval. But if you just go on here to events, they have a ton of cool stuff. Totally chill vibe, really good stuff. Thanks, Bill, appreciate you so much, man. All right, next up, let's jump into the mortgage section. I am so excited because what perfect timing. March 28th is the opening day of baseball and this particular lender, is Mr. Seattle Mariner in my mind. He is lender Connor Webb with Cardinal Financial, but also he is the Couch GM. So if you're on YouTube, which you are, you just might not know it, check out his YouTube channel. His Seattle Mariners content is incredible. He's got some other baseball and football content as well, and he's you know sprouting off some other podcasts uh, for soccer and football and some other things, but he is my Mariners go-to number one and this guy is one heck of a mortgage lender. We just did our first transaction together, and I'm telling you, Connor Webb, total pro, total pro. Like, absolutely knocked it out of the park, pun intended, great lender, uh, even better YouTuber, because, and that's saying something because he is an incredible lender, but his YouTube channel with the Mariners is blowing up, guys. So go subscribe. He's a great listen, a great follow. If you wanna get caught up on all the changes and all the updates with the Seattle Mariners, Connor is your guy. So let's hear from Connor on what's going on in today's mortgage world. 
Take it away, Connor. Thanks for having me on, buddy. My name is Connor Webb. I am with Cardinal Financial. You might also know me as the Couch GM on YouTube, talking all things baseball and the Mariners. I've been in mortgage lending for eight years, and long story short, we're talking about the mortgage market today. Regarding mortgage interest rates, I'm not gonna quote exactly where they're at. Mortgage rates change multiple times a day, so it really depends on your situation and which day you get under contract to lock in your interest rate. But right now, everyone's trying to predict when rates will be coming down, when the Fed will lower rates, and that is dependent on a few metrics. Right now, the Fed's focus is on driving inflation down to a normal amount, somewhere around 2%. Earlier this week, there was an inflation report that came out a little hot, so mortgage rates trended upward this week. But as I advise my clients, if you're comfortable with where the numbers are at, now is still a good time to buy. Go ahead and lock in that interest rate. No one has a crystal ball on where things will be at tomorrow. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know. Otherwise, tune in to the Buddy Buck Show on Duval TV. And Buddy, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Connor. Appreciate that, man. So if you need to apply for a mortgage loan or just want some questions answered, uh, hit up my guy, Connor Webb. You can see all of his contact information here as well. So thanks a lot, Connor, and we'll see you on a future show as well. All right, it is that time. Buddy Buck, yes, I'm a realtor. Yes, I've done this for 15 years plus. Oh, you're wondering, was my dad a broker? Yes, he was. Is my sister a broker? Yes, she is. That's a family business. My dad did it for a very long time. I love being in real estate. It's just an absolute blast. EXP Realty has just been an incredible situation and looking forward to the future as we continue to grow in this industry. But let me just break down some numbers for you real quick about Duval. So I'm gonna compare last month, so it would be February 2024, to the previous February 2023. And if you look at the numbers, there was 37 active listings last year and 27 this year. So inventory's down, which we're not surprised by this because all the people with those low interest rates, you know who I'm talking to, the 2%, the 3%, the 4% even, and you're just locked in. You're not going nowhere unless you get forced to move. <laughs> like you were just like, I'm holding on to this rate no matter what. And I don't blame you. And you're in Duval, so congrats. Like that's awesome. Like what a cool place to be stuck in an awesome house in a great city that's on the upward trend of equity growth and you know, just, things trending in the right direction. It's really, really cool. So if we're looking at days on market, you might think, oh my God, that's really high, like 74 days to sell my house. So you might think 74 days on market last year and 70 last month, like that's pretty high, right? And it is, but things are coming down as far as home selling quicker. We just had a listing around the corner, probably about two minutes from me as the crow flies. And that thing went pending in the first five days. If it's priced correctly, again, get with a realtor that knows what they're doing. If you hire someone, just trust them. Like you're gonna have enough to think about and enough to process and enough information in your brain and it's gonna be emotional and all these things, especially if you haven't sold a home in a long time. So pass the ball to a professional, just trust them on the process. They might give you a price range, like a low end and a high end, but just please don't make up your own price because it's some like a feeling you have. Let's look at the information, look at the numbers, because if you're not, that's why these days on market can feel like 30 days, 60 days, 70 days, 74 days. And the market is fast right now. And so if you're looking at last month, 2.7 months of inventory simply means this. If you take the number of active listings divided by the solds, that's gonna give you a number. And that is 2.7. What does that mean? You've been watching the show, you know what it means. If you're new to the show, it means it would take 2.7 months for every home to sell. These are single family residences only. I only compare single family residents. I'm not doing vacant land, I'm not doing commercial, but I'm telling you 2.7 is a low number. That is a seller's market. Anything you're getting into like the four plus months of inventory, now there's more inventory, more to pick from, more, you know, or less demand necessarily from the buyers because now they can be a little bit pickier. But when the demand is super high and the inventory is very low, you're gonna see these 2.7 and below even we've seen in Duval, it's crazy guys. So find your right home, make your move, be aggressive if you have to. The equity always catches back up with you being aggressive. So again, get with the realtor that knows and can talk you through this process because there is a move to be made. Let's go. Ooh, my dogs are barking. Woof, woof. And last thing on Duval, check out the average price. And again, these are a little bit, I mean, skewed because the numbers are, you know, 10 solds, 13 solds, whatever, but it is still consistent. So if you're looking at the average price, 790,000 last year, 1.065 million this year. If you're thinking about buying in Duval, do it now, okay? Make your move, get in this community, get involved, go to theduvallife.com, 
click on something, sign up for something, give back, have fun. All right, lastly, let's talk about King County. So we're talking about hyper-focused on this Duval TV. Obviously, it's about Duval. And we're talking about single family residences, 98019 zip code. But you might live in Woodenville, Redmond, Bellevue, Kirkland, Seattle. Maybe you live in California like the Prazos did and they're moving to Duval. So they might wanna know, hey, where could I live or what do the numbers look like, you know, outside of Duval and the neighboring cities. Or maybe you're a real estate agent going, Duval, what the heck is that? I just work in Bellevue. I just work in Kirkland or Seattle, Ballard, West Seattle, whatever the case may be. Like my friend, Julie Clark, Jacob Weaver, Ty Wynn, amazing agents out there in the Seattle area. I don't study that. Like they might not study these cities very closely. So when they're doing their videos and we're doing ours, like we're learning from each other's content as far as the stats to help our real estate game. So I encourage you as realtors to like share information with each other too. It doesn't matter if we're under the same brokerage. The numbers are always the numbers. So it's again, great information to have at your fingertips, um, especially some of these little quick short videos. So with King County, check this out, 1.3 months of inventory. That means if no new homes came on the market and there was 1,461 last month, but if no new homes came on the market in King County, every single home would be sold in seven weeks. That's crazy multiple offers i mean my friend hong she i mean she's written so many offers and you know they're just 10 offers seven offers 30 offers like we are back to some of those times in king county right now guys so it's if you're a buyer maybe you're waiting for rates to drop and trying to get cute and i've talked about it you can go watch like three episodes ago four episodes ago i kept begging the drum buy the house pay higher interest rate because now that interest rates have come down a little bit the inventory has come down even as well. So now you're in multiple offer situation when before you could have bought a home at 8% and had no competition and potentially just refi it already. You know, refinanced, got a lower rate. So there's always a game, I call it a game, but it's a financial game to be played. So in that case, you could have bought a million dollar home at 8% and now you could have already refied it at 6% or 6.5% maybe, right? So check with Connor Webb, he'll give you all the details. But guys, you know, this is coming from 15 plus years, 20 years of experience in being a mortgage lender and a realtor. You know, don't ever just even take maybe one person's word for it, but if you're watching a couple of high profile channels and people, um, the message is the same, trust the message. Because again, there is no reason for someone to kind of steer you in the wrong direction. Like anyone that wants to just do one deal and be done in real estate, that's just insane to me. So this is a long game. This is a game of referrals. Like a realtor getting a referral, like Connor, like Connor sent me a referral as a lender. That's incredible. But like getting a referral from a friend, guys, that is so important. Even if there's nothing to be gained in return, especially if it's right here in our own community, right? I'm always looking for internal referrals first. And that's why if you go on to um, Duval TV YouTube channel, which you're on right now, and you click on the playlist, you're gonna be able to see some of the like businesses that I'm really getting in tight with, that I just really believe in their message and what they're doing and who they are as people. And if you're not on that playlist yet, I would love to do a business spotlight video for you. And again, I am not charging you for this. Let's add more content to the city. That's where I got the idea for the shorts with the videos because somebody's like, just the other day on a cross sale, which, you know, I sold the uh, house right around the corner and they were like, oh, we need a new painter. Like, cause we're just gonna touch up the walls and do some painting. So I just texted them the video of Dave Warden from Warden Painting. They watched it. They were like, oh my gosh, I feel like I know him already cause he's on the video talking and then they hired him it's just little different things i like to do like this just to bring the referrals to life so uh, networking has always been super important to me but lastly real quick i just want to give a couple quick shout outs to my video and production team remy lelius with media 19. michael hudson came out and filmed the other day from seattle so thank you michael with praised media uh, Jackie Farrow with Jackie Farrow Photography. Just my neighbor lives two doors down, has an incredible studio. And the best way you can support the channel, like, subscribe, comment, share it with a friend uh, that's living in Duval, doesn't live in Duval. We'll do some really killer giveaways once we hit 200 subscribers. So it's again, each of these benchmarks, uh, we're just gonna give away more and more different cool fun stuff that's local as much as we can. Well, that's a wrap for Duval TV episode 11. Thanks so much for tuning in and being the absolute best part of the community where tractors meet technology, small town, real life. Buddy Buck, peace. <laughs>